CentralMichigan.com. It's a little Caesars Bowl on Wednesday in Detroit. The battle between Central Michigan and Western Kentucky. The Western Kentucky Hilltoppers laying five and a half. Total of 57 and a half. Marco's going to have a free play on this game in just a moment. But to say the Hilltoppers are happy and excited to be here would have to be a major understatement. This program's in just its fifth season of D Division I football. They were horrible the first three. I mean, you can expect that. But, Marco, they had that 14-0 spread run carrying over from last year into this year. Then it seems like the Lions caught up to them and they only covered two of the last six. But what do you say in this game? Well, I'm looking at this game. We'll see what Brian has to say because he's, you know, our MAC resident expert, and you've had another fine year in the MAC. And uh, Central Michigan, I got to, you know, we talk about teams. If, are they excited to be here or not? And they did get hot to get here. They won four of their last five games just to become bowl eligible. They had to win the last game against powerhouse UMass <laughs> to do it. But if you look at the five teams they played down the stretch to become bowl eligible, none of those five teams are in a bowl game. So, I mean, you want to talk about – in. Almost everybody makes a ball game, yeah. you know. Any 70 ball. teams now, isn't it? Yeah. So to go through five teams that haven't, you know, <laughs> made it to the Bulls, you've got a pretty soft schedule. We're going to get to your free pick in just a moment. I want to ask Brian about this. I like uh, Ryan Radcliffe, the quarterback for Central Michigan. I like Tipton, the running back for Central Michigan. But here's a team that only outgained two of their 12 opponents all season long, talking about the chips. And their wins came against Southeast Missouri State, the Big Ten's worst team, the Iowa Hawkeyes, who has no offense whatsoever, uh, not to mention four conference wins against the dregs of the MAC, who have a combined record of 8-40 and 40 straight up. What say you on this one, Matt Guy? You know, it's interesting because Central Michigan, every week we be at our Tuesday meeting, and the line will move on Central Michigan games. They go, who the hell is still betting Central Michigan? Because they had not shown <laughs> anything all season long. As Marco pointed out, they had to win their last three games to become bowl eligible. They are playing in their home state. They haven't been bowling since 2009, so you know that they want to go to this. This, this is a big game for them. But we talked about, and you hit on this with uh, Western Kentucky, the nice streak they had. I went back and I looked at how Western Kentucky has done when they haven't played at home. They're actually on a 16-1 and spread mark when not playing at home. The only game they didn't cover was by one point. So a lot of that credit was given to them overall. But in reality, most of it has been done on the road. And as you pointed out, this is a team who hasn't been bowling. I mean, they're going to be really excited to be here. Just because a team doesn't deserve, at least like Central Michigan, okay, they're 6-6, six and six, they got the, the requisite amount of wins. But just because they may not really truthfully deserve to be in a bowl game doesn't mean they're not motivated, as Brian just said, first bowl game in three years. Tell us, now the chips are down. But are they going to bring their motivation, or is Western Kentucky just too much for this team that's underachieved, I think, Central Michigan all season long? This one is your free pick. Well, I'm going to go with Western Kentucky. i got to go with the better team. They're a balanced offense. They run for uh, nearly 200 yards, 180-some yards, 190-some yards passing. I like that balance. I look at the Central Michigan team. Eight of 12 opponents this year have scored 30 or more points against them. But here's the stat that sews, sews it up for me. Sorry. I look at Central Michigan. Yeah, they beat up on those teams at the end of the season. I said that weren't good. When Central Michigan is an underdog, Vegas tells you they're supposed to lose. They do. They're on a 2-13 and 13 run the last two seasons when made an underdog. Well, guys, they're the underdog here. I'm going to go with the better team, the better defense. I'm going to take Western Kentucky. Lay the points. I'm taking Western Kentucky with you. And I want to wish everybody, we're doing these videos, by the way, this week before Christmas, but want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, also Happy Holidays. And uh, we will have videos, by the way, on Saturday, December 29th. Check back late afternoon, early evening for videos. Brian Leonard's going to be here. I think R.J. Bell's going to sit in that day. So, anyway, you got Santa that to look Claus. forward to. Santa Claus himself <laughs> on December 29th. Have a great um, Christmas and happy holidays. We'll see you again next week. All of us at pregame.tv. Wish you well. Have a safe one.